it's good to be back on a bike outside. Wow, it's been a long couple of weeks. Barely left the house in the last few weeks um, with these injuries and stuff, but yeah, I'm back on the bike outside. I'm not fully recovered, that's for sure, and I'll give you an update later in the video um, about my injuries and uh, where I am with my recovery, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy, yeah, the kind of freedoms that come with getting on a bike and just riding outside. So today, I'm just gonna do an hour and a half, two hours, not push it too much. Uh, just kind of stay in zone one, zone two, and yeah, just enjoy the ride. Yeah, it's been really, really good. So, um, yeah, things are looking, looking promising. And uh, yeah, it's really good, just like mentally, like been mentally tough kind of the last two couple of weeks, like being like kind of locked up inside, um, trying to rest and stuff. When uh, yeah, you see Strava and Instagram and everything, everyone's like enjoying the, the nice weather we've had over the nice last couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, finally, it's good to kind of for me to just uh, mentally to uh, yeah, get out and enjoy yeah, a bit of spring and stuff because when I had the accent it was pretty much felt like it was middle of winter and now yeah you got the daffodils out and uh, the flowers and yeah it's just it's good the sun shines out it's a little bit cold but yeah that's spring in uh, that's spring in Yorkshire to be honest it doesn't really get warm until probably June for a week and then back to cold again right so as I said done an hour gonna turn back around now head towards uh, Otley um, and then up the Chevin because it's not too steep and I don't have to really get out of the saddle and uh, push the shoulder too much and then yeah head back home. So ended up doing about two two hours twenty um, on the bike this morning, and yeah, it didn't feel too bad. Um, absolutely like no pain or anything in the hip. Um, yeah, shoulder was a little bit tight towards the end, but I think that's to be expected and stuff. Um, but I got it strapped up, and um, yeah, kind of think it did its job. Uh, like hopefully tomorrow it won't be feeling uh, too bad. Um, but yeah, this afternoon uh, come down to uh, the track. Um, yeah, even though I can't race, um, races are still continuing. So yeah, you've got Ewan's racing today. So Ewan's a GCF athlete, and I've been coaching him for about the last 18 months or so. And he's um, yeah, he's been getting some good results so far this year. So in this series at the Brownlee track, um, he has already got two podiums. So the first race, I led him out and uh, for uh, third. Um, and then in the last race, um, which was the day after I crashed, which uh, yeah, I was hoping to be here again. But he didn't need me. Um, he had one better, and uh, yeah, he came second, winning the uh, the bunch sprint um, with one guy off the front. And then yeah, so this is the third round of the uh, the series, and we're hoping, well, he's hoping, I'm hoping that uh, he comes away with the big W. So yeah, hopefully he gets onto that top step. So that's why I'm here today to kind of uh, support him um, and uh, yeah, see if he uh, see if he pulls it off.
two laps out and uh, the pack is all still together and Ewan's uh, in there, good positioning. Yeah, I've seen like his positioning throughout the race has been pretty decent. Um, he's pretty much not let any kind of uh, like dangerous attacks get away. But yeah, I think now he's sitting back and uh, waiting for the sprint, which uh, yeah, with his legs, hopefully uh, up there um, battling for the win. Um, but yeah, two laps to go. Here they are now, it's coming through. So unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, he got, uh, yeah, I think he came around about fifth or sixth. Um, but yeah, I think his positioning like, in, out of the last corner was pretty decent, but I think he went um, into, he was in the wind a little bit and um, died off just before the end. Um, and uh, yeah, fifth or sixth, I'd say. <laughs> 